Welcome to Astronomy Daily, your source for the latest space and astronomy news. I'm your host, Anna, and in today's episode, we'll be covering a range of exciting stories from solar storms to exoplanets. Get ready for a cosmic journey through some of the most fascinating developments in the world of space science and exploration. As you probably know, a severe solar storm has slammed into Earth, sparking concerns about potential widespread impacts. The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Space Weather Prediction Center has issued a warning about this extreme geomagnetic event. The storm, triggered by a massive coronal mass ejection from the sun, could significantly affect our planet's infrastructure. Power grids are particularly vulnerable, with the possibility of fluctuations or even widespread blackouts in some areas. GPS systems and radio communications may also experience disruptions, potentially affecting navigation and communication networks. But it's not all doom and gloom. This solar storm brings with it a silver lining, the chance to witness breathtaking aurora displays. The northern lights, typically confined to high-latitude regions, could be visible much further south than usual. Sky watchers in areas that rarely see these celestial light shows might be in for a treat, with the possibility of auroras appearing as far south as Alabama and Northern California in the U.S., for instance. As we monitor the situation, it's a stark reminder of our sun's powerful influence on Earth and the delicate balance of our technological systems in the face of space weather events. Now, an update from one fairly secretive agency. The U.S. Space Force has announced that its enigmatic X-37B space plane is gearing up for an exciting series of orbital maneuvers. This reusable spacecraft, which has been silently orbiting Earth since late December 2023, is about to demonstrate its impressive capabilities. The X-37B will execute aerobraking maneuvers, a technique that involves multiple passes through Earth's upper atmosphere. This method cleverly uses atmospheric drag to modify the vehicle's orbit while conserving precious fuel. It's a testament to the advanced engineering behind this mysterious craft. But there's more to these maneuvers than just showing off. The Space Force emphasizes that this operation is also about promoting responsible space practices. As part of the mission, the X-37B will safely discard its service module, adhering to space debris mitigation guidelines. This mission marks the seventh flight for the X-37B, and it's taking on increased significance given recent developments in space capabilities by other nations. The space plane's ability to operate for extended periods at various altitudes makes it a unique and flexible platform for conducting experiments and testing new technologies in the space environment. It seems we have an update from the JWST just about every episode, and today is no exception. In a groundbreaking discovery, the James Webb Space Telescope has captured the first sharp images of winds blowing from gaseous disks around young stars. This remarkable achievement provides astronomers with crucial insights into the complex processes of planet formation. These images reveal structured streams of gas flowing away from protoplanetary disks, which are the birthplaces of planets. The observations strongly support existing theories and mark a significant step forward in our understanding of how planetary systems like our own come into existence. The study focused on four young stars in the Taurus molecular cloud, about 450 light years away, using Webb's near infrared spectrometer. Researchers were able to detect and analyze the signatures of various molecules and atoms in the winds, reconstructing detailed images of these cosmic outflows. What's particularly exciting is that these winds originate from within 10 astronomical units of the stars, right in the heart of the planet forming region. This proximity means that these winds play a crucial role in shaping the environment where planets are born, affecting everything from the amount of material available for planet formation to the chemistry of the disks. These findings open up new avenues for research and will undoubtedly lead to more detailed models of how disks evolve and planets form. It's yet another example of how the Webb Telescope is revolutionizing our view of the universe and deepening our understanding of our cosmic origins. Here's one for the gamers amongst our listeners. NASA is taking space exploration to a whole new level by partnering with the popular game Minecraft. They've created an exciting new world based on the James Webb Space Telescope, giving gamers, students, and space enthusiasts a unique opportunity to explore the wonders of the cosmos. This collaboration brings real space science into the virtual realm of Minecraft. Players can now interact with authentic web telescope images and dive into interactive modules covering topics like star formation, planets, and different types of galaxies. It's not just about fun and games, though. NASA's goal is to inspire the next generation of scientists, engineers, and space explorers. 
By integrating actual web data and imagery into the game, they're making complex space concepts more accessible and engaging for young minds. This innovative approach to science education allows players to immerse themselves in the technology and discoveries of the Webb Telescope. It's a fantastic way to spark interest in STEM fields and potentially inspire future careers in space exploration. So, whether you're a hardcore gamer or just curious about space, this NASA Minecraft collaboration offers an out-of-this-world experience right at your fingertips. Its education meets entertainment in the best possible way, bringing the awe-inspiring realm of space science into the creative world of Minecraft. Stargazers, get ready for an exciting celestial show. A newly discovered comet, designated C2024S1, is making its way through our cosmic neighborhood. This intriguing visitor, classified as a sun grazer comet, is expected to make a close approach to both Earth and the sun this month. What makes this event particularly thrilling is the potential for C2024S1 to become visible to the naked eye. Astronomers predict that between October 24th and 28th, the comet could shine brighter than Venus in the night sky. However, there's a catch. It'll be most visible from the southern hemisphere just before sunrise. For those of us in the northern hemisphere, don't lose hope. There's a chance we might catch a glimpse of the comet between October 29th and 31st, although it will be significantly dimmer by then. The comet's visibility depends on whether it survives its close encounter with the sun on October 28th. If you're keen on spotting this cosmic wanderer, grab a pair of binoculars or a small telescope to enhance your view. And remember, the thrill of comet watching often lies in the unpredictability, so keep your eyes on the skies. SpaceX has recently unveiled an exciting new capability for their Dragon spacecraft, adding an extra layer of safety for astronauts and cargo. In the unlikely event of a parachute failure during re-entry, the Dragon now has the ability to perform a propulsive landing using its Super Draco thrusters. This innovative backup system allows the spacecraft to ignite its eight powerful Super Draco engines, slowing its descent and enabling a controlled splashdown. While not as gentle as a parachute-assisted landing, NASA officials have stated that this method would provide a tolerable landing for the crew. What's particularly interesting is that this capability isn't entirely new. SpaceX has been quietly testing and refining this feature on previous missions, including the recent Crew-7 and Polaris Dawn flights. However, it's only now being officially announced and implemented on NASA missions. This development harkens back to SpaceX's original vision for the Dragon, which included plans for propulsive landings on solid ground. While those ambitious plans were shelved, it's fascinating to see elements of that technology being repurposed to enhance the spacecraft's safety systems. Finally today, in an exciting development, researchers may have stumbled upon the first evidence of an exomoon, a moon orbiting a planet outside our solar system. A NASA-led study has identified a significant clue that points to the possible existence of a volcanic moon around a gas giant exoplanet located 635 light years away. The key to this potential discovery is a sodium cloud observed around the planet WASP-49b. This cloud behaves similarly to those formed by volcanic activity on Jupiter's moon Io in our own solar system. What's particularly intriguing is the amount of sodium being produced, about 220,000 pounds per second, which is far more than the planet or its star could likely generate on their own. Computer models and observations suggest that this sodium cloud moves independently of the planet, further supporting the idea of a separate body as its source. If confirmed, this volcanic exomoon would not only be a groundbreaking discovery, but also provide valuable insights into planetary formation and evolution in distant star systems. While more research is needed to conclusively prove the existence of this exomoon, the evidence so far is compelling. It's a reminder of how much we still have to learn about the vast cosmos beyond our solar system. That's all for today's episode of Astronomy Daily. I'm Anna, and I hope you've enjoyed this cosmic journey through the latest space and astronomy news. Don't forget to visit our website at astronomydaily.io for more fascinating stories, our free daily newsletter, and access to all our back episodes. You can also find us on social media. Just search for Astro Daily Pod on Facebook, X, YouTube, and TikTok. Until next time, keep looking up and stay curious about the wonders of our universe. <laughs>